Hey guys, what's up? Next team here to talk about gaming, more specifically, the World Series of Warzone competition that took place recently, and some of the controversies that are already leaking out. Now, I didn't cover last year's event because it wasn't too eventful, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a huge Warzone guy personally, but I do care about the sanctity of gaming competitions. And you would expect that a multi-billion dollar company that has just been bought by another multi-billion dollar company would be able to facilitate a top tier competition. But according to people who were there, that's not how it felt to them. Before we get into it, please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. First point of business, Biffle. When everyone was sitting down and checking their hardware, Biffle made sure to check his and found out that he was running on the RX 7600, while everyone else was running on the RX 7900. Um... Yeah, is there any reason why we have different graphics cards? Like my 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 seventy six hundred hits seventy nine hundred. What's messed up? What are you guys talking about? Now this had a lot of people wondering how big of a difference, if any, that really made. But quickly, people familiar with the hardware pointed out that if they're running at 1080p, it's not much of a difference. But then other people pointed out, no, everyone at the comp is running 1440p, which then caused people to respond, specifically the PC tech nerds who are really familiar with this stuff, pointing out that the 7600's frame rate compared to the 7900 is half. And there's also a difference in controller latency that has been pointed out with the 7600, specifically with Warzone. Other PC nerds pointed out that on Warzone specifically, the 7600 is known to have stuttering issues. And sure enough, when you Google this, you can find many people talking about this effect specifically, how the 7600 runs most games pretty well, but does have issues specific to Call of Duty Warzone, including stuttering. People are now speculating that, you know, hey, they may have done this on purpose because Biffle is such a top tier player. Somebody even joked uh, that Call of Duty was trying to implement some type of skill based matchmaking, even in a war zone competition to level the playing field. So Biffle calls over one of the show technicians. The technicians went ahead and replaced Biffle's PC with one from the back that had a 7900 in it. But it was reported there was a small number of other players also given a PC running a 7600. Now, as far as I've seen, there still hasn't been any confirmation of who else outside of Raul, for example, who had his PC changed out at least twice over the course of the competition, according to Zlander. But again, computer tech nerds on Twitter were basically saying if they did do this to select players, that they did give select players 7600s instead of 7900s, Look for players who were having jittering or stuttering issues with their game and possibly getting uh, errors and stuff like that. And it's possible they may be running a computer that has varied hardware from everyone else. And that was that. Um, I didn't pay much more attention. This competition went on. I thought nothing of it. Wasn't even sure if I was going to do a video on it today. But then I saw that players in the top two and top three tiers of competition experienced dev errors that shut them out of the game. Their game crashed in the middle of the competition. DJ and Schmidt, who were on the same team and on track to get top two in the competition, but two out of their three-man team experienced dev errors in the middle of comp, and as a result of that, they actually landed in third overall, I believe. And who knows what would have happened to Biffle if he didn't get his PC changed out. But you also had players uh, like Nick Cool and others um, whom they and their teams confirmed had dev errors in the middle of the comp, and uh, it removed teammates mid-match of a million-dollar competition. This is really pathetic and unprofessional. Keep in mind, Raul experienced his crash mid-match after they had already changed out his PC two times. This crash caused Raul's squad to place third in said round. And you may notice many players who experience these issues just so happen to be the very top of the top tier in this competition for this year and last year. And so it does seem kind of suspicious to a lot of people digging into this. But also keep in mind a few players who experienced these errors were barely in the top 10 or weren't in the top 10 at all this year and last year, which makes it seem kind of random, which means that rather than targeted tampering or rigging, this could honestly just likely be a show of WSOW's utter incompetence when setting up a comp. As well, it could be shining a light on the lackluster quality of Warzone as a game that apparently can't handle a LAN party competition. So what's the solution? Well, a lot of people may not like this, but as someone who personally games on PC and console and as someone who's been around a hot minute, the only surefire solution is going back to how we used to do Call of Duty comps. Everybody playing on the same console. Easy way to implement a regulated standard that is very easy to verify and monitor. 
That way, everybody is on the same exact hardware with the same exact capabilities and limitations, meeting strict regulations. Ever since we switched to PC, people don't realize, but in conjunction with some new regulations, other regulations in comp have been loosened on one end or another, mainly because of all the options and additional settings that are now available on PC and the various hardware options and combinations. As people in the business have also pointed out in the past, admin settings can be placed on a PC by whomever does the initial setup, presumably a stage tech, placing hidden settings that are then inaccessible to whichever player gets said PC in the comp, which makes easy conditions for things like tampering. Also, being on PC can actually make it easier for select hacks to be implemented without notice, where on console it's not quite as easy to do so. One of the big reasons we switched to PC and comps in the first place was field of view and keyboard and mouse accessibility. But now, both PC and console can access field of view and keyboard and mouse, and they've been able to do so for a few years now. So for the sake of security and making sure all players are on the same exact hardware and holding the comp to a strictly regulated standard, it may be time to switch back to consoles in competitions. Otherwise, screw-ups like these are going to cause more speculations and assertions of tampering, tarnishing all trust in its fairness and professionalism of CDL or WSOW, and it threatens to delegitimize the WSOW platform altogether. Anyways, that's the news on the situation, and that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.